And as they run in then, you'll see them start to pop up very low level above the trees. Uh, and in the left hand seat, Flight Lieutenant Cy Flynn, Flynn, uh, Flynn is in the left hand seat. They also watched by family in the crowd. So Hannah, Connie, William, hello to all of you. And here we go. So camera's ready. Uh, brand new display sequence designed by Smitty. Uh, you should be able to see that aircraft now starting to come into view over the trees. Uh, Plinny in the left hand seat is counting down at the distances to trigger Smitty's pull up into the first maneuver. Smitty very much focused on display data at this point. That's the point of descent for the airfield as soon as he can see it at low level. So he's waiting to hear Plinny say pull up now. So there's uh, Finney providing that patter to Smithy. 
And you can see him changing the intonation in his voice there uh, to make sure as they get close to the ground, he's being almost more aggressive over the intercom to make sure that it's really being digested by Smithy, who is staying eyes out of the cockpit the entire time. There's no head-up display in this aircraft. Wave now to come past. This is Wing Waggle to say hello to all of you uh, concert here this afternoon. You see the ramps going down now, and that's the preparation for the crewmen to have their big moment in this display. They're moving around the cabin at different parts of this display, so uh, their movement is very carefully timed uh, to the safest parts of the routine for them to make those moves. You're going to see a 270 turn now going into a quick stop which is a technique we, technique we use to bring the aircraft to a very, very fast stop if we see troops late on the battlefield uh, because they've been under cover or we've been running in at very low level. This quick stop is incredibly difficult to fly, but Schmidt is very well practiced at doing so. And there we go, presenting both discs to the airflow, bringing the aircraft to a stop. And we're now going to go into what we call the sideways trawl. So everyone make sure you're waving back there uh, at uh, the crewmen on the ramp. So we have two crew on board this aircraft today uh, because we needed to carry two in order to drop the RF Falcon, whereas normally we would just have one for the display. We've got Sergeant Scotty Morris. Uh, Scotty joined the RF in 2009 as a logistics supplier. He was deployed to Afghanistan uh, before becoming air crew, and he joined all of us on 27 Squadron in 2018. He spent four years on the squadron now. And uh, he has already deployed to Mali uh, on support of the French operation out there and uh, to the Middle East. Sergeant Dan Hine also on the aircraft today, and I believe that's Dan that waving to you at the moment. Uh, originally from South Africa, Jack Dan joined the RF in 2015. He trained as a weapons system operator. He joined us on 27th in 2018. I'd like to say hello to Dan Bum, who has joined us today all the way from South Africa. So quite a long way to be uh, Dan displaying here today. Big game there, and also down the road. Now, as they get to the end of the display line there, Dan's job to very quickly get that ramp up, which you'll see happen there he goes. He's now dashing back into the cabin, showing those display hands and making sure he's in the frame position. This maneuver was developed uh, very specifically in Bosnia to allow the aircraft to pass from a landing site to the factory in the valley. And there we go. And you can see the turn 360 as they go. The idea there being that the three weapons systems we have on board the aircraft are rotated constantly so that if the aircraft was engaged anywhere in that valley, then one of those weapons systems would be able to deal with the threat straight away. And as they get to the top there, Smithy getting the nose down, left hand turn, 405 degrees to turn to here in descent before they run in parallel to the crowd for another wing over prior to that maneuver. Nose stays down, air to fills as he goes. Smithy now looking left across the top here, across the lead, and helping him all the way to find that display date from that display line again. And then crucially making sure they have 120 knots straight to level for the next maneuver. Now one of the things we can't uh, demonstrate here if you stay on this particular display is some of the other capability we have. Uh, so underslung loads are a key part of this aircraft capability. And the three hooks you may have seen on the underside of the aircraft, one of them that will be stowed for the display, though, uh, are very crucial in that role. Help, helping us deploy that around the world uh, are the team from the Joint Helicopter Support Squadron, JHS, um, who are here today uh, and have a stand on the display ground also. Very skilled team who help us and travel with us throughout the world uh, to help us uh, conduct operations of that nature. And this is a good moment for your cameras, especially for those of you uh, towards the display datum. 
so this aircraft's now going to come in for a running landing from the right hand side. This is a maneuver we use uh, if we've had uh, an issue with the aircraft. Uh, so if it's power limited, we want to use as little power as possible to land the aircraft. We won't come to the hover. We'll run the aircraft straight onto the ground like this. And again, this is a, a key moment where both the crewman and the co-pilot are assisting in getting the aircraft configured for this. Back wheel is touched down, Smithy brings the cyclic, that's the control between his legs back towards him to make sure that the front of the aircraft stays in the air, and then reduces power to make sure that the back of the aircraft effectively acts heavier than the front to get that aircraft flowing onto the runway. And as he comes to zero knots there, you're going to see him do something that we don't practice regularly, and it's very much part of the play sequence, and that is taking the lever backwards. Now this is, this is not easy to do, because of course he is uh, forward. Uh, and uh, he's going to come backwards to the point that he then lifts up prior to 25 knots and he's going to come back into the hover facing all of you to say one big goodbye to the city play for 2022 at Boston. So if you come to the hover there, I would please ask all of you to wave uh, and let the crew know that you very much appreciate this. And a couple of other mentions as they come up into the hover here. I would like to make mention of our incredible engineering team, uh, led by Flight Lieutenant Sam Taylor here today, uh, who are absolutely, absolutely crucial in getting this aircraft into the air and up here in the first place. Without them, this display would not happen at all. So give them one big wave. They're going to then go for an over-shoulder departure, which is a departure profile to use when departing a landing site with a threat in the 12th floor for it directly in front of them and they're going to disappear away. So to all of you, thank you very much for watching this display this afternoon. I very much hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much to the show organisers, all of our sponsors, and of course the University of Birmingham Air Squad, who are working so very hard to make sure all of the air crew engineers, everyone is in the right place to, to give you this performance today. Thank you very much all.